So we're going to record a couple of things uh, from the um, using a couple featured multi-track that I guess you know I have a little lag because I'm on my network trying to do the audio and uh, but just if you can bear with that I have font box open I'm just gonna go ahead and use this loop what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll go to export and I'll export this loop I'll press record it'll play it I guess till it's done it should be right there we'll call it test one Turn. We'll copy it to the clipboard. It's in the clipboard. Now we can leave this out. Stop using the app. I'll go to multi track the. Open it up. Oh, I opened audio bus. That's cool. I'll bring in multi track back. And Adibus. and it's right there. I'm gonna go ahead and add it. I'm gonna add a track, and I'm gonna paste from the clipboard. Right there, paste. Then it's my drum loop right there. Boom. Beautiful. I'll rewind it over here. Now I'll go to Audio Bus again. And I'll bring um, hmm. this guitar. Let's see if I can record from here. There is my record. Go back. Try that again. There's my guitar back here. I can add up 24 tracks if I want. I'm just going to go ahead and, and sing something right here. I'm using the iPad microphone, so it's going to sound kind of bad. Um, let's see. I'll disarm this track. I'll arm this track. As I arm it, it should, oh, there, there is my in right there. Let's go. Okay, so we can do some harmonies. And here it goes. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
See, I have that lag of time. I'm going to slice this. Mug ahead and bring my cursor over here. I'm going to go ahead and slice that right there. I'm going to grab this and erase it. And then I'm going to grab this and tell it to edit so I can move it. And maybe it's with it. I'm going to go ahead and arm another, I'm going to disarm this, add another track, but I'm going to practice it first, some harmony, let's see. <laughs> Something like that. I'm not the greatest singer in the world, but it'll do. Here it comes. I'll do another track even. A little practice run. Okay, I need to line these ones up. So I'm going to go ahead over here, slice it, come over here, uh, erase it, come over here, edit it, bring it close to this one. Here, arm this practice one practice run. All right, I'll try that. Should probably try it from here. Take again, let's erase that, start from the beginning. The lag that we hear is because I'm running this program right now through my network so I can do this video. I don't have an interface uh, handy. So it gives me a chance to see the, to show the way you would edit these waveforms anyway. Now let's test them. Go ahead for the sake of argument to demonstrate this even further. Let's add some effects. Let's add some reverb. Let's turn the reverb on and effects. Let's bring it a little bit here, maybe around there. The same over here. Maybe around here. 
bit. Let's see it here. Let's see what that sounds like. <laughs> This, oh, I'm sorry, right here, down. This is the high note right here. And now, last but not least, let's do some panning. Let's put the high note in the middle. This, the low note, to, a little to the left. And this one, a little to the right. See what that sounds like. Not bad. And we can keep adding to this. When we're done, we can keep adding tracks, more instruments. So what we do, so, so to review, we use you, we can use Audiobus to bring just about anything. I'm gonna take this out, but these are all the applications that are that I have that are available. I mean, I could have used Animode, I could have just use um, the Korg MS20, the Korg Poly Six. Um, let's put hell of it. Let's do that. And let's see if it gives me a track for it. It's loading. Let's see if it gave me a track for it. You see, there is my track for the Poly 6. Let me disarm this track. And let's try to record something from the Poly 6, okay? Not that. Um, let's go to the Poly 6. Factory sounds. Let's see what's this. Let's just do that one. Let's go back to that. Okay, here we go. the track there it is but there's my lag too so I have to come over here and slice it get rid of this obviously you were not gonna have that lag once you let's see if that works <laughs> Let's 
now that I'm done with this, I can go ahead and bounce it if I want. And the way I do it, I believe, is to the menu, I go to sharing, and I can go ahead and email it to myself or just to mix it down. So let's see, if I mix it down, I get to pick for items while sharing, WAV, AUG, and for A, let's say WAV, mix down. Creating mix, mix down complete. Wire place in multi-track documents folder in iTunes file sharing. Or I can go ahead and email it to myself. I'll say email, same thing. Send. Creating mix. It'll open up like that. To edit. There it is, that's me. Here's my web song. I go send. Boom, it sent it to me. And I'll just leave you with the, our wonderful thing that we all made up here. And it goes like this.